Hi Ori, it's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we did the dungeons, Sethicals, and Akanai Crypts. And today, we are going to continue questing out in Terracar Forest. We're going to focus on the Bone Race today. I'm going to sell some junk, though. Let's get rid of all this stuff. There we go, got a little bit of bag space back. Strength! And let's pick up a quest from this wanted poster over here. Wanted Bone Lasher's Den. The Bone Lashers of the Bone Waste bit Mog and made him sick. Now he wants all of them destroyed. While they can be found throughout the Waste, they are known to congregate at Carrion Hill in the north. Return to Mog Grimshot after you've done the deed and he'll give you a good reward. Alright, so there we go. We'll do that. We got a bunch of quests to do. Maps full of them. <laughs> a couple to turn in in Shatrath as well. But I am going to be focusing on the Bone Waste for now. The reason why is because I kind of like the Bone Waste. One of my favorite zones, I would say. Or this should be the carry on area, right? Look at that. We got a paladin here doing some, uh, doing some work. I guess we should group up a couple. I should get some buffs going as well. go get our ores going there we go we're doing some damage and uh wow had had a little article recently about which classes you should boost i believe they had a top five and first was paladin and i'm not surprised about that they are a really good class in Wrath of the Lich King. I think all their specs are pretty damn good. You can't really go wrong. And if you've never raided before, you get a wide variety of choices. Um, you know, tanking, healing, or DPS. And then second, they have Druid, which I can see being a really good choice. All of the Druid specs are good, and there's four of them. You can heal as Resto, do ranged spell damage as a Boomkin, melee, melee damage as a Feral Druid, and also they got Bear Form, which is a decent tank, pretty solid tank. And then third, they had... I think it was Shaman, which is another class where you can heal and do DPS on. Warlock was up there as well. They're a pretty strong DPS class throughout all of Wrath of the Lich King. And they will be stacked in raids, most likely. And then I think maybe Priest? I kind of forget, forget one of them. I think it might have been Priest. Priest is pretty good in Wrath, too. So is Mage. Mage is really good as well. Can't really go wrong with any class you pick, to be honest. Like, they're, they're all pretty damn good. So how many more of these birds do we have? I don't need a lot more. And we're getting our gold up by a decent amount. We're pretty close to being able to get flying soon. So we might do that 
one of these episodes coming up. I'm going to pick up some quests over here. Get these two, though. And one dungeon I haven't done in Auchindoon yet, that we'll probably try to do soon, is Manitoons. Got to get in there. A couple of quests we can do there as well. And also, I don't think I've talked about this on uh, this character. But there's uh, a new mode coming out. Game mode coming out in Wrath of Lich King called Heroic Plus. Sort of like a classic WoW version of Mythic Plus. Where you get rewarded gear at the end, I would assume. And it's coming out in Phase 2. I'll talk a little bit more after pick up a couple of these quests here. These wastes are scarred by terrible magic. We must do what we can to heal this great wound. The trees of this land are ravaged by the power of what of that was unleashed from Akandun. The foul magic that was unleashed blasted the land into the waste you see all around. The trees that survived are now infested with wretched wood mites that crawl under their bark and gnaw at their flesh. Rotting forest rages and infested root walkers are breeding grounds for the mites. They are found along the edge of the wood to the east. Destroy these creatures and then kill the mites that flee their husks. We shall meet again. Okay, so it looks like we got one more to pick up here. Maybe two. There he is, Maketa. Akandun is home to my ancestors' spirits. We might not look it, but all broken were once Draenei. Our spirits are all the same. After our caravan, caravan fell prey to an attack by the Shadow Council, Cabal cultist scouts were sent to Shatrath to call for help. The guards think we're safe for now, but they underestimate these madmen. I, for one, am not looking forward to having my throat slit by some Cabal initiate in the middle of the night. Do us all a favor and take the, fi fli take the fight to them before they come to us. You'll find our attackers south of here at Auchindoon's northern entrance. Okay, so there we go. We got a couple of quests there. And we'll finish off the rest of these bone lashers. And we can kind of combo them with these guys. That's good. But yeah, Heroic Plus, pretty damn good. Should come out in Phase 2. And the reason why it's coming out in Phase 2 is... That's when it'll actually work. And so what it does is... So Aldar... Oh yeah, well, pretty much the first raids are going to be Nax 25 and then Nax 10. And Nax 25 will have the best loot in Phase 1. But in Phase 2, Nax 25 loot will be given out in Nax 10 raids. And then the next 10 raid gear is going to be given out during the Heroic Plus dungeons. Or once you complete a Heroic Plus dungeon, I assume. And that's going to continue throughout all of the phases of Wrath. And it's supposedly it's going to help make the dungeons more of a challenge. And also make them relevant so people keep running them to get gear. And I think it's a great idea. Because dungeons got pretty damn easy as uh, Wrath progressed. I remember them being like very easy. And then in Cataclysm they amped them up. And then they nerfed them again after that. This guy. away from me there. Should be good though. I like it. It's a good idea. Let's fight this guy, Trichella. We have enough mana. be okay. Hmm. 
don't know, we didn't get anything from him. Should we use uh, Red Aura? Oh. I hope people enjoy those, uh, Heroic Plus Dungeons. And I hope they are challenging. It's an interesting change, and I think it's needed. Because Phase 3 is gonna get, like, pretty damn boring, so it's gonna be nice that, you know, people can run 10-man Aldar and get 25-man Aldar gear in there. And then also being able to do Heroic Plus. And that'll get you the 10-man Aldar gear. Because Phase 3 will just be um, one raid, you know? It's not even that big of a raid. Trial of Crusaders doesn't take too long to clear. So. It's good that they added Heroic Plus. It'll give people something to do that, you know, mainly play Wrath of the Lich King Classic. And it's great for alts. Like, if you have an alt and you just want to bring him back into the game, you just hit, get him to hit level uh, 80, and then you get him right into Heroic Plus. You'll be geared up in no time. It's a great catch-up mechanic. The only thing is, it's really going to make, uh... Like, like, Nax irrelevant. In Phase 3, like, no one will run Nax. Because they can get 10-man Aldar gear in Heroic Plus. So that's one... One negative, I guess. But yeah, there'll be literally no reason to run Nax. Unless you want, like, a specific item. And then that'll eventually happen to Oldar, too, I assume, because then in the final phase, which is ICC, he'll be able to get a 10-man... I assume it's normal. It wouldn't be heroic. Probably 10-man normal gear from... Heroic Plus. Yeah, I wonder if they, uh, clarified that. If you'll get heroic or or normal gear from the, like heroic or normal raid gear from these heroic plus dungeons. Who knows? Also, there's a really cool cinematic that recently came out. And it was actually fan-made by this content creator named Hurricane. And he made the Black Temple cinematic as well, and it was epic. And then he just made uh, Wrath of the Lich King one, and it's pretty damn good. And it's on the World of Warcraft uh, YouTube channel, which I thought was cool. That they got him to, you know, make a cinematic for them. Classic team's really doing a great job. No, they don't have, like, supposedly they don't have a lot of people, but I don't know, I think they're doing really good with Wrath. All of the changes have been good. I've, I think they're pretty damn good. I know we did lose Dungeon Finder. That was probably, like, the most controversial thing, but... I don't really mind that that much. One good thing, it, it, it makes people leave, you know, Dalaran. Like, if you're on a server like Berlina, then yeah, it doesn't matter. But on servers that actually have a decent, you know, population, uh, population ratio, 
action ratio. Then, you know, grouping up at a... or making a journey to a dungeon, like Gundrak, and then getting in a fight along the way. You know, it just adds to the game. It's always fun, you know, like, fighting the opposite faction when you're, like, out in the world. Well, for me it is. I know a lot of... there's, like, a majority of people don't uh, give a crap I've about that stuff, but... Some people do enjoy it. It's probably a small majority... I think the majority probably don't care. I think that's probably why there were so many people that wanted Dungeon Finder. You have done much to help Terracar Forest, Travadon. With the worst of the might colonies destroyed, we may yet be able to reclaim this wasted land. Ancestors watch over. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever see Dungeon Finder in Classic. If they do Classic Cataclysm, it's going to be the same thing. It's just going to be like this, which is not bad. It's pretty... it's decent. And it... And I think it's good, because, you know, you have to group up with somebody, you got to chat with somebody to make the group. It does take a lot, like, extra time. But, um... You know, it, it, it adds a more, like, more of a social element to the game. Instead of just, you know, queue up to a dungeon, clear it, and then leave. Thing is, though, Dungeon Finder is, is, was an experience in Wrath of the Lich King, so people that are playing again won't get that again from the classic experience. And I'll be honest, most of, most of, like, the Dungeon Finder experience I had, like, some of them, most of them were good. You just go and get the dungeon done, and you're done. There's some toxic ones where, you know, a guy won't get a piece of loot and he'll just leave. He's only in there for a piece of loot and he just leaves. Like, when you set up a group, like, that, that kind of rarely happens. It's never happened to me. I've had people leave dungeons. Uh, I think it's mostly due to wipes, or they just had to leave. I guess it can happen. It's like both, you know, formats. But yeah, it is a, it is a divided issue. That's for sure. I don't really know what's better. I think they're both good. Leave. I wouldn't mind either. I appreciate your help, Travadin. I was certain I was going to be killed. Let's get out of here with a hurry. It won't be long before more cultists come after us. Alright, so let's do this. Oh wow, he's just going to start pulling the whole room? <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's positives and negatives to both. One saves you more time, less of a hassle, while the other is a little bit more social and has that, how you know, <laughs> it's not that much better, to be honest. It's just more social. That's the only, like, plus, I would say. And you, and like, if you're a, a, someone making a group, you get to pick and choose who's in your group. Which, uh, kind of sucks for some classes, because some, some people like to stack certain classes while doing a dungeon. Especially, like, AoE damage dealers. Cabal orders, can we pick that up? Oh, we already got it. His message bears a dark seal, and though the language seems somewhat un somewhat familiar, 
It appears to be encoded. Perhaps someone at the refugee camp caravan will know something about it. Yeah, we'll see what happens here. I think we'll get out of here. We might pull all of this stuff. This guy does a lot of ch chain lightning stuff, so he's stronger than he looks. Hey, look at that damage. He clearly did it almost half their health, one chain lightning. I'm having trouble pulling aggro off of him. Right now he's going for the run. There you go. Objective complete. I can find my way from here, my friend. Maketa will reward you for your kind actions. Alright, so let's turn in a couple of quests here. Light. Must remember Escaping the, the tomb. You rescued Akuno, a dear friend of mine. For this, I am in your debt. So we'll take the shield. Cabal orders. You wish to know... To show me something, Travadin? Ah, uh, yes. This was written in a basic form of the Shadow Cipher. My knowledge of it is not perfect, but it should suffice to translate this. You learn much about unsavory subjects when you live among outcasts and refugees in the lower city. Shadow Tomb. Many believe it was the Shadow Council that caused the explosion that tore Akundun apart. It is rumored they awoke a great evil inside. If that is true, then the evil must have turned against them. According to these orders, part of the Shadow Council is fleeing Akundun. They are using the Shadow Tomb to store powerful artifacts from Akundun. Three of these are sacred, for they belonged to the powerful patriarchs, Atrunin, Kaelin, and Atalor. I must ask you to retrieve them. And we'll get a ring. Pretty good ring. Better than the... One of the fingers we got. Just we'll head down here and then we'll get all... The stuff we need. We need to slay a... Couple of initiates here. Get our red ore up. Done with the skirmishers. This guy's a spell weaver. More of these guys. Yeah. A lot of skirmishers. There's an initiate right there. It's awesome that I don't really have to drink as a paladin too. Couple spell weavers, one. A couple of these guys. Here we go. Now we just need one more. It's our final initiate right over there. Our spell weaver. Oh, I think we're pulling them all. Let this guy cast on us a little bit. We don't pull anybody else. Pull him away. 
Get him. All right, now all we have to do is head to that tomb again. I'll turn in this quest quick. See if we can zoom by these guys without falling off our mount. And we can, nice. I can breathe a sigh of relief for now, Travnan. The Shadow Council will be held off for the time being. They are murderers and cowards, and your display of courage will keep them at bay. Roma. All right, so let's do this final quest here. Head, head back to that tomb. Like someone already cleared this spot out. Oh. What's this DK? Think he's doing the escort, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> We can pull all. Uh, I'm not. Go with these three. I'm kind of slowed right now. Oh, they're all spawning back so fast. I must say, Paladin's probably the, the funnest class I'm playing right now. I like, see why they put it in number one. That Paladin's really cool. Just feels... I don't know, the rotation just feels better than... Uh, and DK and Shaman, but the thing is, I haven't hit max level yet, so can't really say that until you know you're in like a raiding atmosphere. But during this leveling experience, I would say sh this reptile has been class that I've had the funnest on so far. Interesting to see how combat rogue is and balance druid. So we need one more thing. We need the scroll of Atalor. It's over here. Like not running out of mana is just so awesome. Like, you feel like a warrior, almost. You just keep going and going and going. DKs are like this, too. Slow deer for a bit. Let's heal up. So we can make this uh, photo here. Okay, 
so we should probably drink up. See if we can hold our mana. Group all three of these guys together. Maybe we can group her with us. Oh, this is getting kind of weird. We're getting rocked right now. Lay on hands. To be safe. Yeah, the damage is insane. I know we're fighting a low level, stuff that's lower level than us by a little bit. Like level 65, 64s. Looks like our bags are full as well. Have to get rid of some junk. Alright, so let's uh, make our way out of here. We'll turn these quests in. I think I'm going to queue up for a mana tombs right now. Let's try to get into one of those. Save our DPS. There's one right there. Nice. Look at us go. We're flying, guys. Are they right there? Yeah, they're going to be summoning me. Okay, I'm going to hearth out. We're going to turn in a quest. And then I'm going to... Oh, man. them to know that I need a little bit of time here. So I guess we'll have to turn in the quests after. It's completely fine. And our bags are hella full. Let's see if we can sell some junk. And then hearth out of here. Yeah, that's good. Farewell. All right, so let's take that where we get kicked. <laughs> All right, guys. So I guess I'm going to be calling the episode here. Next episode, we will be in the Mad Tombs. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.